So one really important and kind of frustrating technique for a lot of oboists is figuring out these octave mechanisms and just how they work. So the first one, of course, we come across is that half hole of ours. Now, um, it isn't really a half hole. We call it a half hole, but uh, it's not quite the actual um, mechanism and the way it works. But what we want to be careful with is how we are actually getting to um, getting that hole open. So what I typically do with my finger is I don't start with it always here. I don't start with it here. It's kind of in between. And that's why this little addition of the key is there. So you can start with it right in the center. So when I have my half hole closed, my wrist is actually kind of coming towards me. And if I open it, I'm now opening my wrist just a little bit. And the other thing is, you'll notice that I am essentially rolling my finger. I am not sliding. Um, you want to do that roll so that you have that wrist movement going. That's a lot quicker than having to slide. Now your back octave key is gonna come right after that half hole. Um, so when you are moving towards that, you want to just kind of grab it and I'll turn this way so you can see the angle of my thumb. It's kind of at like a two o'clock angle or 45 degree angle. Um, the other thing is, if you're not using the back octave thumb, you don't have to have it on the oboe. Um, in fact, I would encourage it not to be um, because you will um, start to get a little tense in that thumb. And that leads us to what we call the second octave key um, or the side octave key. This one um, just again has some wrist movement where I'm if I'm grabbing that second octave key I am uh, moving my wrist towards me so that I'm kind of closing instead of trying to like grab it this way um, which kind of creates some more tension. One word of advice the way that the oboe works if I have the uh, back octave key, thumb octave key, first octave key, whatever you want to call it, if I have that um, pressed down. You'll notice that this is the key that opens. Now I'm going to press while holding the, the back octave key. Um, I'm going to press the second octave key and you'll notice that it closes the back octave key mechanism and now opens this. That's because this is what we call a semi-automatic um, oboe system. Um, which means that you can theoretically play a second octave key note with your thumb octave key down. I would recommend not because what happens when you do that is you are now placing this kind of motion into your hand um, and again creates tension. So as soon as you go away from back octave key to the side octave key, let that go, let this thumb hover doesn't need to be on there and it opens up and allows you a much freer um, finger technique.